Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So, I've got a comb, it's not for my hair, and I've got a canvas, and I'm going to do a creation where I layer the paint on the canvas and use a comb to make a pattern, to merge some lines together. I've seen it done by Garrick Brown, who is an amazing artist. I've taken inspiration from him to create this piece. So, let's see what we can create. Okay, so today I'm going to just use five colours. I'm going to use my red, yellow, orange and black. I'm also going to use a, a white, one with some Australian flow trolling and one with just my normal pouring medium. And I've got a comb and my palette knife. So let's see if it works. So I don't know about you, but I take a lot of inspiration from the artists that I watch online, on YouTube mainly, but I came across Garrick and I saw a creation that he did recently using just a comb and some different tones on a canvas. So I thought I would take that inspiration and try and recreate um, a piece using just these five colours. So as you can see, I've started um, using my black colour. And I'm going to layer all the colours at one end of the canvas and mainly have my white colour uh, for more than half of that canvas because I'm going to use my comb, strike through um, all the colours. That will help those, um, those lines form and those colours merge. And then what I intend to do is I intend to stretch it out and create a a, like a different design. So I'm just going to layer the white and as I said the white will cover more of the canvas than the colours combined. That's because I want to be able to stretch the design out um, and create a different piece. So let me just check that the consistency is good on the canvas. I want to make sure that I've got good coverage on the canvas. Um, I'm not too worried about the sides at the moment because as I do a lot of the tilting and stretching and the colours and the design itself will go over those edges, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so I used my torch to get rid of the air bubbles because I've recently just mixed my paints. And here we go, so I'm going to use the comb and I'm going to basically drag the comb across the canvas from bottom to top or top to bottom, whatever way you look at it. So I think I'm gonna use the wider um, edge of the comb and I'm literally just gonna go all the way through, dragging it through the colors, down through the white, it doesn't have to be a straight line and off the edge. I'm not gonna clean my comb too much because I do want some of the white that I've just dragged off to go through the black so it looks like it's a continuous line. Okay, so I'm just going to do this side. So I've managed to keep some of the white through the black all the way through and off the edge. Okay, so that gap in the middle, I'm not too keen on that. So I'm just going to use um, the, other, the other part of the comb and I'm literally going to just do the same again. So drag all the way through, through the colours, through to the white and off the edge. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And now I'm going to stretch that design out. So when I stretch out this design, I'm gonna probably get rid of most of this white um, off the edge. You can see that it's quite thick anyway, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep tilting it and making some movement across that design straight off the edge but I'm also going to go back on myself because I don't want to just um, have kind of like a straight pattern. So I'm going to make sure some of these lines are a bit wonky, a bit a bit mad. Um, I'm just experimenting, really. Um, I'm so sorry that this has gone off camera. Um, must do better to make sure you can see what I do. OK, so I'm just dragging some of this over the side. And when I'm doing this, what I'm trying to do is make sure I've not got major puddles of paint in certain areas. I think I say this in all my in all my videos and all the creations that I do, that the layer of paint that I have on my canvas, I want to be 
um, quite consistent because when it dries, I don't want to have cracking and that kind of thing. So, okay, so I step back just to have a little look. And I kind of think I, I need to do a bit more. I'm happy with how all the colours are merging. I don't want them to muddy too much. But I also want to make sure that I create a design that I'm really happy with. So I do step back and just have a little look and kind of assess what I want to do next. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I, at this point, I'm going to get some of the white uh, paint that's mixed with Australian Floetrol. And I'm just going to drag that through in between the red and the orange. Because if we all know... Australian Floetrol makes cells without having to add any kind of silicone or anything. So I'm just going to use that across some of these sections. And then what I'll do is I'm going to stretch the piece out again and have a look to see what kind of design that creates as well. So I'm just taking this to another level, really. I'm just experimenting just to see what kind of design I can create. I'm thinking of putting the comb back through it, but maybe I'll do that in another experiment. Maybe I'll do that another day. So I'm just going to tilt again, just to kind of move that design across the canvas. There's too much white there for me. I do love the lines that are appearing in the white because they're kind of a golden color. So I'm gonna try and keep some of those, but what I really want to stretch out is some more of that black. I'd like some more black on the canvas and I want to almost center it a bit more so there's less white and then the yellow, orange and red are more central with that cell river running through the middle of the design. So I'm just stretching that now and as you can see, I'm just slowly working that white off the canvas. Again, guys, I'm so sorry. I need to get better at showing you a full screen when I tilt. Um, Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the uh, in the final design. But some of that black is coming back onto that canvas. And what I'm noticing is the lineage, some of the lines within the red section um, are amazing. What it's kind of creating is like a 3D effect. I will take you in for a closer look shortly, but I'm really, really happy with this. And I'm so happy that I decided to leave the white paint on the comb so it went through the black, just so it breaks it up a little bit as well. So yeah, I'm, I think I did good. I'd love to know what you think too. Okay, so I'm actually really enjoying this kind of technique and design that it's created. Look at those lines. So from the black into the red, and it's almost created like a 3D shadow. I don't know if you can see that on, on camera, but when I take a picture later, I'll uh, I'll show you. And then using the flow troll all the way through the red and the orange section, creating that cell river. And then obviously the black has continued all the way through from the red through to the orange and the yellow. So that's, you know, that's that's really created, um, I, I guess, like a really pleasing design for me. Um yeah, it's really vibrant as well. I hope it dries this vibrant, um, but I will take you in for a look at the dried version as well. I'd love to know what you think, so please drop me a comment below. So here's the dried version. It dried really well. The yellow kept its vibrancy that I that I love. There's almost like a gold shimmer at the top within the white. And as you can see, the black has gone all the way through, all through the colors. And what I really like about the black and the red, it looks a bit smudged, but when you stand back, it's almost created like a 3D effect. So there's quite a, a heavy top line, and then there's like a shadow all the way through that's created like a 3D effect within that red section. So I'm really happy. Um, this is definitely something that I'd like to experiment with and try again. So Garrick, thank you so much. I, I saw your video online and I absolutely loved it and I just had to give it a go. So I'd recommend if anyone wants to have a bit of fun, give it a go as well. You'll see in these close-up um, photos the, the cell river that I mentioned. It's just something that I added in, but I'm really pleased that I did. And I'm going to have a bit more fun and experiment to see what else I can create. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a good week. 
and thanks again for all of your support and I hope to see you again soon. Let me know what you think in the comments below as it's always so great to hear from you. Bye.